I know this, because I just watched this version of it. What is it? It's a really cheesy title. I don't know. I, I have no guess. It's old, and it's a dancing movie. Today we're gonna have you guess some movie posters, and the theme is dance movies. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do good with this one. I don't really watch dance movies. Okay, now I'm nervous. I don't know if I know their movie posters. Man, all right, I thought I was gonna kill this until you said dance movies. Nope. All that cliche stuff, like dance movies, love movies, musicals, yeah, no, I don't watch those. I might do okay. If it was romance movies, I would know every single one. I love romance movies. Okay, okay. I'll know them, but not know what the title is. Like, I'll probably be able to tell you the whole storyline, but not be like, yeah, this is actually this movie. Yes, 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 yes. I am into all of that. All I watched when I was little was freaking dance movies and musicals. That was me, right here. All right, here is the first movie poster. No idea. I see Channing Tatum, but I don't know who the girl is. Every second chance begins with a first step. I don't think I know this one. Is that Channing Tatum? I've definitely seen this picture, but like, I'm not sure what the title is. I've seen it. What is it? It's a really cheesy title. This is, uh, Step Up. Step Up? I know it's Channing Tatum and his now wife. Oh yeah, this is Step Up. Oh, this is a good one. This is where he met his wife. It's Step Up, just because it's not my favorite one. The one after it is my favorite one because Moose is in it and Moose is my husband. So this is? Oh, okay. Step Up. I, have I seen that? Step Up. Okay, geez. I, uh, I think I've seen like maybe the first two of these. I was a little too young for like the step ups as a kid, but as I got older, I went back and watched all of them. I started out in like hardcore street hip hop. So I had a couple teachers in these movies. Here's the next one. Do you know it? Uh, no, I don't know this one, but that's Zoe Saldana. Those people don't look familiar. I've never seen this movie before. I have no idea what this is. What do I even try to guess based on this poster? I have no idea. They look like ballet dancers. I have no idea what this is. Okay, this looks old. So this is like a combo of two bad things for me. It's old and it's a dancing movie. Oh, I don't know if I know this one. That looks like Zoe Zaldana though, but I don't think I've ever seen this one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's not Flashdance. It's not honey. Oh my god, why do I not know this one? So this one is called... Center Stage. No, yeah, I've never heard of that one. Center Stage. Oh, I've heard of this one. This movie is about a group of ballet dancers who are trying to get into the American Ballet Academy in New York with the hopes of joining the company. Well, that's interesting, but I'm definitely not gonna get that one right. I'll watch the first 10 minutes and I'll see how I like it. <laughs> oh, that would be tough, because I've seen like a lot of documentaries. It's harsh, because I know a lot of ballet dancers that like, they break their toes or their feet bleed. Do you know this movie? I'm absolutely clueless. Just looking at this picture, I'm thinking about Whitney Houston, but I already know it's not. This doesn't even bring like a spark to my head. It's just a straight up just fat no. So it's one lady sitting on a chair, not really sitting. I can't even see her face. How am I supposed to guess this? Dirty Dancing? I'm just gonna say Dirty Dancing because that's the only thing that comes to mind, but I don't think that's right. Flash dance. I know this is the iconic thing and like she, the water's coming down. Flash dance, but I'm not positive. This movie is. <laughs> Never heard of any of these movies. Flash dance. For some reason I get those two mixed up because the chick has the same hairstyle in both of them. Flash dance. I feel like, I think I've seen this. Is this about a stripper? and she like wants to become a real dancer. I've seen this. I remember that iconic like pull the the water and then like on the chair, just kind of, I used to do that a lot in middle school. Don't ask me why. Ah, I got it right. I remember seeing this one as a kid and it was like the 80s and it's the big hair and the fun like, I would call it jazzercise, but I don't know if that's really what it is. Do you recognize this poster? 
Man, this looks like a really cheesy 2000s movie. A slamming combo of dance and drama. Isn't that like every dance movie? I don't know, those people kind of look familiar, but I don't think I've seen this movie before. I just see a really long blurred out name, so I'm just like trying to fit a name in there. Well, it looks like there's romance involved as well because there's two people up there. It looks like a fun movie though. It's not Dance Flick, is it? No, Dance Flick is the parody of like all these movies combined. Oh my God, no, I know this movie. Ah, I know this one because my mom watched it, watched it all the time. I know this movie, I know it. Julia Stiles I have seen in a lot of things. I don't know if I know this one. If I was gonna guess, it seems like it's about tap dancing just from like the pose. So this one is called Save the Last Dance. Okay. Save the Last Dance. There was no way I would have ever guessed that. Save the Last Dance. It's just a good movie that has a good balance between romance and then dancing. It wasn't too much dancing, it wasn't too much romance. It was just perfect for me. This movie is about a ballet dancer who quits dancing after her mom dies, but she meets Sean Patrick Thomas's character who teaches her some hip hop moves and encourages her to apply to Juilliard. Okay. Now yeah, that sounds that sounds really cool actually. Like a movie that I probably should have already seen. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. I like it when like couples bring each other together to like be like successful. Auditioning for Juilliard is like a really big step if you're a ballerina. And so the fact that she also does hip hop, like I wanna see what happens next. Do you know this movie? <laughs> Kevin Bacon. I feel like I've seen this as a meme. I don't know. I can't put a name to this one. What the heck? I don't know, because I, I honestly haven't seen a lot of Kevin Bacon movies. He's a big city kid in a small town. They said he'd never win. He knew he had to. Okay. Like, I know the premise. He comes to like some like area that's super just religious and they were dancing was forbidden. I know this, because I just watched this version of it. It's the one where he's in the town and they can't, like, it's outlawed to be a dancer. Don't tell me, wait, hold on. Oh, Footloose. This is Footloose. Oh, this is Footloose. Easy, easy. Saw the one with Kevin Bacon. I saw the new version with Julianne Huff. It's classic. So this one is called? Footloose. Oh, okay, I've heard of Footloose, but I've never seen it at all. Footloose? I've never seen the movie, but the song, my mom would always play it and she'd always dance to it. No! No! It's Footloose! Ah, uh, yeah. My mom's gonna be very disappointed in me because she's a dancer and she taught me everything I know. And this is one of the things I should know. Do you recognize this movie poster? I don't know what this is. I, I don't know. I, I have no guess. I have no idea. I, I don't know. Is this hairspray? I'm gonna assume this is hairspray. That's hairspray. I've never seen it, but I've always wanted to see it. This is Hairspray. I feel like most people who are into theater, I feel like that's a must. Hairspray! This as a little kid was one of my favorite musicals. I love Hairspray! That is my favorite musical of all time. They teach you about just not judging a book by its cover, whether it's race, weight, or hairstyle. This is... Hairspray. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. I've heard of Hairspray. I just saw the live musical one, and my friend's dance teacher was in it, so I watched it all with them, and it was it was so cute. As a little kid, and like who was a dancer, seeing someone who was not the size two strict ballerina body for me was like really important. The storyline is perfect. It's a great way to uh, bring racism as a topic to the screen, but then there's also singing and dancing, and it's like, wow. I learned something while being entertained. Nikki Blonsky, the girl who plays the lead role, Tracy, actually found out that she got the part while working at a Cold Stone ice cream shop. Damn, look at that. She went from Cold Stone to being a movie star. That's cool. That's so exciting. That's such a turn of events. It's like you go from working this job that you really don't like to doing something that you really love. And like that's, I feel like that's the best thing that could ever happen to a person. Oh, wow, that's awesome. And I love stories like that because like, like, there is humble beginnings. You can get discovered anywhere. It's like sometimes it doesn't even matter like who you are or where you are. It just matters like what you put into it. Last poster. Do you know this one? No. Jennifer Grey, Patrick's. No, I've never seen this before. But 
Why do they look so familiar? This is Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing? I know that because of the guy. That one's Dirty Dancing, because Patrick Swayze, Jennifer Grey. I've seen that one. Dirty Dancing, there it goes. The guy that played the leading guy. He's from Ghost, right? Love him. Dirty Dancing. Another one of those movies where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna see it, and I, I need to see it, but I haven't yet. This is Dirty Dancing. I don't even know if I've ever seen this. It's definitely like a classic. Dirty Dancing. I've seen, I think most of it, it was a little while ago, but it was the like camp love story and it was like a cute little thing. And then they have that iconic lift. And this one is... Dirty Dancing, oh my gosh, I should have got that. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. I still haven't watched it. I feel like I've heard like everyone I know has talked about this movie. I just know my favorite scene in the movie was the famous lift. It's like one of my favorite movies. I remember my mom showing it to me and it was super sweet and I loved it. Patrick Swayze actually had to convince Jennifer Grey to be in this film because she had disliked him so much when they were filming Red Dawn in 1984. <laughs> I feel like if your coworker doesn't like you, you should just leave it. You shouldn't really pressure them to make it. But like, I guess it turned out for the best, so. I think that's funny. <laughs> it's just funny because they had really good chemistry on screen. They did good. It, it made them big stars. It got them big bucks. You know, you do have to remember that these actors are not their characters and might dislike them. So the fact that she did this while not particularly fond of him, I think I give her even more props because I could not tell at all. Thanks for watching this episode of Do They Know It on the React channel. If you like this episode, then hit that like button. What's your favorite dance movie? Let us know in the comments. What's up guys, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. I hope you had the time of your life because you can't stop the beat. So step up to center stage and cut loose and hit that subscribe button.